In this video, we are using C Sharp and Camel Query to get the items from a list inside SharePoint. We are using server side object model and basically the SP Query object. We start by creating a sandbox SharePoint project. Then we create a web part with a text box to enter the Camel Query by the user. So basically, the user enters the Camel Query into a text box and our code will get the Camel Query and returns the result. We add a code to use the camel and run it against the list and show the returned item on the web part. And finally, we deploy and test the solution on SharePoint 2013. The setup that we have is SharePoint 2013 on virtual machine. We have Visual Studio 2015 Enterprise Edition, a team site on SharePoint with a custom list to query. Let's start by creating a sandbox SharePoint project. I go back to Visual Studio, I've already created an empty solution. I just right click on it and add a new project. The project under Office SharePoint, under SharePoint Solutions, I select SharePoint 2013 empty project and I give it a name as Camel Demo. And I just click OK. I select Sandbox and I click Finish. The project is created and all I need to do, I need to add a new item which is going to be a visual web part. Execute camel and I click on add. The web part is created. I go to the design view and from the toolbox first I add a button. I call this button execute and the ID btn execute. Under this execute, I need to add my text box. So I find my text box. I make it a bit larger. And don't forget that we're going to make it multi line. We just change the name change the ID to txt camel and under this text box I want to add a label that shows me the result so I just remove the text and for the ID I call it lbl query result Okay, so all I need to do, I need to double click on the execute and write my code. Let's back and see where we are. Create a sandbox SharePoint project. We did it. Create a web part with a text box to enter the camel query by the user. We created it. And now add code to use the camel and run it against a list and show the returned items on the web part. Coding time. To do that, first I need to make my reference to the right namespace, Microsoft.SharePoint. Then on the execute button, I need to start writing the code. I will start with SP web equals I get because I'm inside the website, I would say SP context dot current dot web so I have the reference to the current web SP list is going to be my list I call it demo list and it is web dot lists collection the name was demo list let's make sure demo list and after I create the list, it's time to make my query object. To create this query object, I call it SP query and I call it my query equals new SP query object. The object is created. My query 
dot query is a camel string that I get from the text box. Now it's time to query demo list dot get items and get items accepts a query. My query and that's it. The return is going to be SP list item collection. I call it uh, query result equals this function. Well, I guess the problem is solved. So all I need to do, I need to navigate through the items that this query returned and I need to add it to the label that I had there. So I start by label dot text equals string dot empty. So every time I push the button, it actually clears the label and shows me the fresh results. And then a for each loop SP list item ITM in query result and that's going to be LBL query result dot text plus equal ITM dot title and to show every item in a new line, I just add the br slash to the end of each item. We added the code to the camel query to run it against the list. Now we need to deploy and test the solution on SharePoint 2013. <clears throat> to deploy it, I just right click on it and I say deploy. I get back to the website and I just edit the page and I'm going to insert web part under custom web parts. Here is the web part that I just developed. I just add it to the page and I click save. And now let's test it. If I click just on execute because there is no search criteria, I expect to see all the items. It shows me all the items. Now let's put a query. Let me put a where statement and in between them I put the condition eq slash eq. So I need to have the field the name, the field that I'm looking for is going to be title and the value that I want to compare is going to be value slash value. I need to specify the type for this value. It is text and the value that I'm looking for is going to be Toronto, for example. So I just click on execute and it's going to show me Toronto. I can change it to something else like Ottawa. And if I click on execute, it's going to show me Ottawa. So we deployed and tested the solution in SharePoint. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and stay tuned. More videos are coming.